Good morning, John. Thanks for a very good video. Uh, and reminding me to schedule a haircut. I can always tell when it starts to invade my ear canal. Like, why are you going in there? I've been going through the first round of responses to the Nerdfighteria census, which is still open and will be open for a little while longer. People are taking about 15 minutes to finish it. It tells me that, so I know it. And if you want to fill it out, just pause the video, go do it now. It's very helpful to us, and I love reading the responses. It's given me a lot of ideas about my punishment, which is coming up. So thank you to everybody who's submitted those. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do now. It's going to be unpleasant. But I've also, of course, been reading people's longer text responses about, like, what we're doing, and maybe what you'd like us to do differently. One person wanted there to be pizza merch without John's weird face on it. And look, I understand that perspective. It makes perfect sense. Sorry. I agree, it's weird face. But there we are. But a much more common theme than that. Uh, people want to not be a burden on us. Like, it seems like people are afraid that you are a burden and that we are stressed out and that you want to help give us some time off. But that leads to a pretty consistent theme. Uh, there's also a lot of people who are saying, man, I liked it better when you were more freeform and more silly and less serious and stressed. And a lot of times that comes without the word stressed, that it's like, you guys are so serious now. It's easy to take that feedback and think like, well, no, like we do lots of silly videos still and I don't really know where you're coming from with that. But actually, if I think about it in the frame of that first response that was really common, it does make some sense. Because I don't know that it's about what the topic of the video is necessarily. I think that it might be more about like us looking stressed out. But like I don't think that you want us to be in our 20s again. I don't think that you want us to like out on the street like putting peeps inside of weird punk rockers. Though maybe, I don't know. It's not gonna happen. I think the thought might be like Chill out a little bit. Enjoy it. I want to see you enjoy the thing. And that makes a lot of sense to me. That actually really rings true to me. If we're stressed out, it's going to come through. No matter what this stress is about. Like, it could just be about, like, the number of obligations we have taken on in the last 10 years. That includes, like, family and life stuff. It includes work and project stuff. It also includes the fact that, like, 2018 internet is sort of a less carefree vibe than 2008 internet was. Also, I feel the responsibility of using the platform correctly more. Also, I'm just generally more worried about the future of humanity now than I was 10 years ago. I don't know if that's because I'm older or if it's because of other changes that have occurred. But regardless of the source of the stress, if you can feel it coming through, I would imagine. Because it's there. We're not gonna hide it. But John, as you said in your last video, I love every individual thing I'm doing. And as people who listen to Dear Hank and John will find out uh, next week, John and I agreed with Kurt Vonnegut when he said, another flaw in the human character is that everybody wants to build and nobody wants to do maintenance. I don't mind doing maintenance. I just like building more. But I will say that Vlogbrothers to me has never felt like maintenance. This has never felt like, oh, I gotta keep the thing alive. It's just a creative outlet to do something interesting and have a little bit of freedom and have complete control over the process and not let that fall away. The obligation I feel on this channel isn't ever frustrating. It's just free. And just like it seems like Nerdfighteria, you would like me to be less stressed, I would also like to be less stressed. And while there are some things that I can't change and some things that I don't want to change, I think there are some ways for me to be a little more free. I'm honestly not the kind of guy who thinks that like achievement is the point of life. Um, I see a lot of people like that and I just don't understand it. I think the point of life is, is joy and beyond that, helping other people find joy. So let's do that. More joy in 2019. Okay? Okay. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.